I was watching a video last night on Christopher Hitchin. Christopher Hitchin's where he's speaking at Google. And after his speech, it was open for question and answer, period. And the people asked questions. There were three of them in a short question and answer period. Three of them were saying how to steer people to think a certain way. So basically, even way back then, Google was thinking about going toward and moving toward a totalitarian way of thinking. That their way of thinking is correct and everybody else is wrong. And the only thought that you should think is what Google finds acceptable. And of course, we all know now, this is the state that we're in. Google knows the truth. And if you don't accept Google's truth, you're now canceled. Google has become evil. You now have a time in history, like no other time, where a few people can even censor the President of the United States. And they're censoring thousands of people who don't think their way. Thousands, either completely banning them, or what's known as shadow banning. People can't find posts that are posted by people who they follow. So it's a complete outright banning, shadow banning. You have doxing. You have people showing up. It's, it's, at someone's house, as you look at like universities, a lot of professors are afraid to speak up. And then if you do speak up, like you look at the professor from Chapman College, the, the law professor, and also from, from Cornell, you have other professors within the institution that are calling for their firing. These are learned law professors. What about the First Amendment, a basic right of the United States? But Google, Twitter, Apple, Facebook, there will be other platforms that come out and what they're trying to do is ban these other platforms from coming out. But eventually a way will be worked out to where you won't have to go through Google, you won't have to go through Apple, and you will be able to go on these platforms and these big tech media will not have the power to cancel them out. But in the meantime, everything's a little bit quiet because uh, I, I quit Twitter. I quit Facebook. I, I loathe them. Anybody that hates free speech or doesn't want free speech, in my opinion, I, they're no different than the Communist Party. Trump yesterday was impeached again for the second time, and already it's now coming out. Antifa was behind it, and not only were they behind it, they had plans of the Capitol building. They had weapons, and this will all come out. So all you Republican congressmen who voted for Trump's impeachment, I hope you feel happy about this. And all of you other Democrats, who no matter what you believe, you have to fall in line. You're just a puppet. You're nothing. You're just a cog in the wheel.